To get started, we're going to need some sort of web application and web server that can at least serve up static files, HTML files and JavaScript files. That's all we're going to be working with for now. So you can do this with any technology stack that you like. Just find the simplest possible path to create a directory structure where you can edit HTML files and JavaScript files and have them served up to a browser. I'm going to be using Visual Studio and ASP.NET. The simplest path for me is to select File New Project, tell Visual Studio that I want to create an ASP.NET web application. I'm going to call it Movies. And I'm going to select the ASP.NET 5 empty type of project because this is the project that will set up the bare minimum directory structure and include only the files that are needed for the most basic of ASP.NET sites. And once that is ready, I even want to delete things like the project readme, which I don't really need. And now I'll just point out that in ASP.NET 5, this www root folder, this is the root for my web server. So if I have static files that I want served up, files like HTML files and JavaScript files, they need to be in this www root folder. Other environments might call this public or might call it assets. I'm going to create an index.html page inside of www root. And this is something that can be served up when I'm ready to view this application in a browser. So it's currently blank. Now, before we even get to saying hello world from Aurelia or introducing how to use tools like JSPM, I want to put up a hello world message using JavaScript the way I might've done it in the past. So let me add to this project a JavaScript file. I will call it app.js. It represents my application. And I actually want app.js to use some logic from another JavaScript file. Let's call it greeter.js. Now greeter.js will be responsible for the low level details of getting some message onto the screen. App.js is more for my application logic. It's going to orchestrate the greeter and tell it when to put this message on the screen. So greeter might be responsible for managing the actual text of the message and perhaps declaring a function, let's call it say hello, that will raise an alert with that message at the appropriate time. And now what I want the ability to do is the ability to use that from app.js to figure out when to call say hello. Now, in order to get all of this to work in yesterday's world of JavaScript programming, I'd have to have intimate knowledge of the relationship between app.js and greeter.js, and I'd have to be very careful and make sure that I include greeter.js on the page before app.js, because app.js requires some of that logic that's inside of greeter. But if I get everything correct and I come out to my web browser, I do get the alert on the screen, so everything is working. But there are a couple problems here. One problem is that I had to order my scripts correctly in the browser. I had to know what the dependencies were between those scripts. Another problem is that over here in greeter.js, I've actually created two globals here, one called message and one called say hello. I can see that if I flip into the developer tools for this page and type in message, because that variable was not enclosed inside of some sort of scope, it was made a global variable and it's available anywhere. It would be nice to have a little bit of encapsulation around this code and not the type of encapsulation that you get by writing these hideous immediately invoked function expressions and wrapping all my code inside of that. And it would also be nice for app.js to have the ability to say something like, I need to import something called say hello from another file, from another module. This is something that JSPM is going to allow us to do ultimately because it's going to put the runtime pieces in place that understand syntax like this and will know how to go out and fetch abstractions that I have defined in another file or another module. Let's take a look at that next.